Hi everybody. I wanted to do a quick overview of GoDice. It's a Kickstarter that's been around for a while and got my GoDice today. I wondered if people would be interested in seeing it working uh, as it's a real thing. Uh, so let's get into it and let me show you what I've got and uh, how we all set it up and how we all get it working. There's some great video material in the application for this um, but I'm just going to show you it live um, and let's see what happens. Okay so in the pack that I've got uh, I've got a dice cup which we'll sure see a little bit later. Uh, I've also got a USB charger um, which I haven't taken out yet. I don't need that at the moment. Um, I've also got the D&D &D dice. Uh, if I just take these out just to show you. Uh, the bag's okay. Probably not the best thing in the world. Uh, and so in the D&D &D dice set, what you've got is, just to show you, you get six dice. You'll notice that they are all roughly similar, as in the black dice are effectively 20-sided dice, and the white dice here are, I think they're 16-sided, or, or whichever it is. Um, one of the dice is numbered 1 to 4. Uh, one of the dice is numbered 1 to 12, this one here. Uh, and this one is numbered 1 to 8. So what we've got is a D8, a D12, and a D4. Now, of course, they don't look like that. And the reason they don't look like that is because you have to actually put your Go Dice into the uh, shells here. And I'll do that live. Uh, and then we've got some uh, black ones here, which are D20s. Um, we've got a D20. We've got uh, D100, so zeros to 90. And then we've got a D10, so 1 to 10 on that. I'll go into the shells a little bit more later. Okay, in fact, I'll put the shells, there we are, all in their cup. All right, okay, so what about the dice themselves? Let's uh, have a look. So here is the package here. I can just uh, bring it out. Hopefully that fits in. Um, it's nice packaging, really good. Um, and so what happens is you open up uh, the package and what you get inside is you get the dice plus its charger. There's a little bit of uh, bump in there as well, but ultimately what you want is the dice themselves. I'll just take those out. There's also this little goodies inside. Um, there is a little plastic, looks a little bit like a, uh, a little bit like a phone holder. I haven't really worked out exactly how it all works. It seems to work with three dice, but I'm going to keep that to one side. If anybody who's watching this has got that and can tell me, let me know. That'd be good. Okay, so we've got the dice. Here they are. They're in their packaging at the moment. I'm just going to reduce my camera's um, exposure, see if I can make things a little bit easier to see. Okay, so I've reduced the exposure so we can see this a bit more. So what you get in the six dice package is an orange die, a uh, red, a blue, a green, a yellow, and a black. Um, I'll talk about why the five looks different from the six, four, and the three in a few moments. Uh, you also get at the bottom of the packaging what feels like um, uh, an, uh, an additional piece to the main unit, which it is, but that actually comes off. It's got some magnets that allow it to come off. And what that is, is a charger for the dice. So in here, you push from the bottom, pull that out, take that screw out and then put two AAA batteries in there. They um, I haven't been through all the packaging, but I don't think they're included. So uh, you'll need some AAA batteries to make that work. Uh, and that's the charging point for the battery. Um, and in here, I really like this. Um, so you've got the dice and it's encased in this nice thick, clear plastic. It's open at the top, but the dice won't come out. You'll notice at the bottom, the dice are enclosed in this... Uh, area where they can't fall out until you actually turn the bottom and then the dice will come out. So let's take those out. There they are, all the time. And then I'll just put that to one side. Okay, now 
how do we get this all working? How do we get Go Dice working? What are Go Dice? Go Dice are Bluetooth dice. They are um, they have sensors inside them. They have a battery. They are balanced, um, and therefore die rolling. So I pick up some dice and roll them. And what I should see is well, I've got one. There we go, three. Um, but we want the we want the application to actually pick up that number as well, so we can see that number working. Let's do it once more. There we are. Looking good. Okay, so how do we get that all working? Well, at the moment, I haven't played around with any of the main APIs or anything like that, but what I have done is downloaded the application to see this working, which is why I've got my iPad down here. I'm going to put that on uh, and log into the application. You need to log in, make an account so you can log in, and I'll show you how to charge the dice and then how they come to, and how to add them to your application. Okay, so here we go. So I'm opening up into the application and you can see there's a number of games in there. I haven't used any of them. Uh, I've had a quick go with the Go RPG, but um, I'll talk about uh, that one. You, as you would probably imagine, these games uh, are all using the dice to roll, uh, to do various things, Yahtzee and uh, Ludo. You probably understand there's a few other ones as well. But at the moment, this application doesn't have any dice associated with it. Up here on the top right, you've got a little icon, and that zero number there shows how many dice you've got connected at the moment, zero. So if I just click on that, um, when you first open up this application, by the way, it does go through the entire process, um, but I've been through it and taken the dice off, so it hasn't gone through it second, uh, second for me. It's quite a nice introduction. But if you do get to a stage where you have no dice and it's, yeah, it's like this, how do we add dice? Well, you can see that there's more options. There's uh, the light and there's this. I haven't really worked out exactly what this one's for. It changes between the cup and the dice, but I still don't know what that is yet. Um, but we've got a plus button here. If I just click on that, it starts saying, oh, I've got some dice and I can see them. Um, the reason it can see them is because these dice have been charged and they're giving out a Bluetooth signal that we can pick up right now. So I'm guessing code names O for orange, G for green, R for red, B for black, K for... Not sure. K for? Uh, what would that be for? Well, Y for yellow, K for... Let's just do that again. So O for orange. Let's put that one uh, up here, just so we know what we're talking about. G for green, R for red. There we are. B for black, K for... K for... Or maybe K... Ah, wait a minute. K, B for blue and K for uh, black and Y for yellow. There we are. Um... So I think that's worked it out. And so it's picking up these dice because they're giving off a Bluetooth signal as we speak. Now, m one of my main concerns, and I can't actually attest to how well uh, they'll stand up, is that the dice themselves can only have a tiny battery inside them. Uh, and of course, they're transmitting all the time. And the battery is also working with the sensors. Um, so the actual battery life of each die is going to be attributed to how much you're using it and also how long it's been since it's been on a charger. Um, uh, at the moment in testing, not long is the answer to that. You're always going to need to have a charger with you. Fortunately, the charger is part of the actual packaging, which is good. Um, but you will need to have that charger. So how do you actually charge these things? Well, you'll notice at the bottom of the charger, there's these three pins. You'll also notice that on the numbers of the dice, they look all normal until you get to five. And five has got the charging point. So you'll see it's a five because of course it can be diagonal in both ways. So it doesn't really matter how, what attitude this goes onto the, the uh, actual charger. So I'm gonna put this onto the charger and you keep your finger on it, and what happens is that it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to fully charge. And what will happen is that the dice will turn its color, there we are, and flash. That means that the dice is now fully charged. I'm gonna put that to one side. I'm going to do all of them. Um, 
it's not a long process obviously but it is a process you may end up doing quite a few times if you're playing a game for a long period of time you're going to be ending up doing it once or twice um i think the colors uh, of the led inside i think um denote sometimes the color of the actual dye i could be wrong there i hadn't actually thought of it but um let's see if this flash is green then they've all got green LED. oh see it's green okay so they're all at green leds there we are so just do this one so like i said you have to keep your finger on it uh and it's not a, I'm not pushing it particularly hard. Um, you can leave the die, if I can just show, I'll just put this down and I'll just drop the die on to the, to the charger. And as you can see, it's not really doing much. Um, so to charge, keep your finger on it. Flash any second now. And I'll show you battery levels uh, because you can actually read the battery levels of the dice themselves. And this is the final one. So there we go. The USB charger that I showed you earlier uh, claims that it can charge in about 15 seconds as well. So they're all charged. So all of those dice are charged. I'm just going to add all of them. Uh, so if I just click on the actual die, there we are. We've got that one. If I click on the die, we've got that one. If I click on the die, if I click on the die, if I click on the die and if I click on the die there we go now to make this work you're going to need all the die are at 100% that's good but you'll notice they'll drop quite quickly um, it might feel alarming um, but it tends to drop um, as I said if you're using the die quite a lot okay so what have we got now do these numbers correspond to what we've got orange is one Okay, that looks good. Blue is six, uh, yellow is five, red is three, four, and um, well, everything looks pretty good. But let's try rolling one of the dice. So I'm going to roll the yellow die. Now, it does recommend that you actually do roll the die properly. You shake it a little bit. So the sensors, I guess, are calibrating inside. Let's do it. And that should be a four. And it turns to a four. And that's pretty good. Notice that the red has dropped already. Um, I wouldn't keep your eyes on this too much. It will start to make, make you worry about these things. And that's 4% uh, disappeared. Now, remember that these numbers that are dropping, are not re they don't go down at this rate um, once they hit about 70. Um, they tend to stay a little bit more stable. But when I first did this, I freaked out. I thought, well, that means I can only roll this dice 10 times and I, I'm going to have to recharge it each time. Uh, but it's doesn't seem to work that way. Um, these numbers, I don't know how good a representation they are. Anyway, let's uh, roll all of them. So there we go. And we roll all of them. And what we've got is three fives. Yes, we've got and two, two ones. Yeah, that's worked. Um, so you can see that they're working. I mean, what else do you need? The dice tell you what you've got. Excellent. So that's what we've got, but you've got more options. Let's click on more options. And so here you can see each of the dice where they're at with their, their corresponding battery. Then you've got these options just here. Um, you've got a light, which turns on the light of the dice, flashes to show which dice it is. I don't know how useful that is. Maybe in the dark, it's quite good. Uh, we've got a reset button which I'm not 100% sure what that does so far, um, other than seems to drop the die and then reconnect it. There we are. So maybe if the die doesn't seem to be rolling, but they've been extremely reliable for me. I haven't had to do that, but that's what we've got. And a settings button. Now it's the settings button that's uh, of interest if you are going to be using the D&D dice. Uh, so with the D&D dice, you can choose a shell, and the shells are a D4, D6, D8. Well, you don't need the D6. Uh, D8, D100, D10, D12, and D20. Uh, I'm going to put those shells together. I'm going to show you uh, each of those because there is a bit of a trick to it. So let's get on with uh, that, and let's start off with the first one, which is the D4. So the D4. So I'm going to use the red die. Let's just put the other ones to one side and grab the red die. There it is. I'm going to use the red die in the D4 shell. So if I just grab the shells, sorry for the noise. There we are. 
probably put it back properly. Um, look for the D4 shell. It's this one here. Uh, one and four, 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 three. Okay, so it seems to be an awful lot over. What you need to look for on the shells is you need to look for this mark here. It'll only be the one mark, and it'll be basically a little black uh, dot. Uh, and you can get your fingernail in between uh, those uh, areas there and pull the shell apart. And although it's very difficult to see, and I really wish that it would have been done with some color, inside there's a number. Uh, and it's the corresponding, the how you should have your uh, six-sided die placed inside the shell to have it roll. Now, i just trying very hard to see if um, I can do this. Um, I wonder. Let's see if I can shine a light in there, if it makes it a little bit easier for everybody to see. You can just about make out that that's a five, I think. Okay, so that's a five. Now, when you're putting these shells together, uh, in the D&D &D, uh, box for the dice, there is a little card. I folded it up, but it's actually flat, and I folded it up and put it into the, um, put it into the bag. Uh, so... I hadn't, of course, I didn't read this uh, and things started to go wrong. Um, what you need to do is on the uh, element that's a five, so this one here for me, on the element that's a five, you need to place the five in a certain way. So it's not just, well, it's five, put it down, and the, on the other side is going to be a two. Uh, no, what you need to have is you need to have the one, so there's the five, if I can try and explain it. Um, so there's the five there. That goes uh, face down into the five area with the one pointing the opposite way to the red, to the black dot. So that would be wrong. So it needs to go in that direction. So the five is going in. And hopefully I've got this right. I need to push it in a little bit. It's a, it's a snug fit, but it's fine. So the five is actually pointing away from you. And the one, you can just about see there, is pointing down the opposite side to the black dot, as you see there. And that that's showing the that on the picture there. That's basically what it's actually telling you. And then you put the other piece of the shell on. Now, it can only go one way. You'll see these three magnets hold it in place. And the black dot needs to correspond with the other black dot. And you put it on. Here it is. And it's done. There it is. There it is. And it's done. Okay, did it work? Well, let's see. Now, whoops. Now, this thinks it's a D4. You have to shake it. Again, don't just roll it off your hand immediately because what happens is the sensors uh, can sometimes just not be calibrated correctly. So if you shake it, put it in my little dice cup let's see if this works that should be a one but it's not should be a one uh -huh. i've got the wrong dice i've got the wrong dice <laughs> so stupidly i've put the red dice in the shell and i haven't told it it's a red dice so let's do that oh well Let's do that. Four, D4. Right, let's see if this works. Live TV. Let's try again. A four. Ah, it's a four. That's good. A four again. Four again. I seem to be rolling lots of fours. A one. It's a one. There we go. A two. It's a two. And there we go. So that's the D4. It's got the red die in it. Let's do the other ones. So this is the D8. Uh, and it opens up the same way. The um, white dice open up from the middle and have that um, situation. So this one has got the five in there. I know it's very difficult to see, but you can just about make it out. That's got the five in there. Uh, so in the same way, I'm going to pick my orange die i'm going to point my number one towards away from the black dot and my five into the shell like that and then i'm going to close it up and i'm going to tell my orange die that it's a d8 and there we are so that one's done put that to one side uh, and then the d12 here's the d12 
and open this one. There we go. Uh, again, I'll use my blue die on this one. So the blue uh, five going in with the one pointing away from the black dot. There we are. See that there and put that over. And that's it. That's done. So I've done my white ones. Now for the black ones, they open up slightly differently. Uh, oh, uh, so I just did the D12, didn't I? Yellow, blue, and black still to go. So something must have been my green dye then. No, green I haven't done yet. Yellow and black. So it must have been my blue dye. Uh, so the blue dice is a D12. There we go. Right, okay. So uh, I, I'm going to do this one, which is a D20. Uh, so for this D20, if I just open this up, you need to look for, it's a little bit hard to see on the black dice, but you need to just get your fingers in there and open it up. And it opens up slightly differently, as you can see, because it's a different type of um, shell. Um, but it works the same way. So what you need to do is find the element that's got the five in it, which is this one here. And you put your five in it, uh, with the one pointing down. So the black dice in this case, five, one pointing down from the black. And there it is, just to show you. And put that together. These are a little bit easier actually to work with. Um, so what have I got? That needs to go like that. That comes together there. So it's a black die as a D20. So the black dice is a D20. There we are. And the green die is going to be the D100 die. So let's uh, let's open this up. Now, this one's a little bit more tricky for some reason, but there we go. And this is the five. So on the five, pointing away from the black, I put the five down with the black at the bottom, uh, the one at the bottom, sorry, and put that back in. So that's the D100. And that one, so that's D100 for the green die. And we've got one more to go with yellow die, and that's on the D10. So let's just do that one. And there we go. And that's it. That's a five at the bottom there. And put this one in. Put this one in <laughs> when I've got it. There we go. And that goes like that. Okay, that took a bit more time. Um, you know, the reason behind that is, of course, I'm doing the talking as we go. And so that was the yellow, and that's a D10. Okay, they should all, theoretically, be working, theoretically. Um, so, and as you can see now across the top there, corresponding to the, uh, the way that they should be. Um, now bit of a problem here. <laughs> the, the problem being that um, there's no D6 there. So um, there's enough dice to create the D&D &D dice, but you don't get a D6. You get a D4, you get a D8, a D12, a D10, uh, a, D1, a D100, and, and a D20. So if you use all of those dice in something, you are going to need another set of go dice. Um, maybe that's the plan. I don't know. Um, but do they roll? Yes, they do. 30, 8, and 7. 30, 8, 7. There we are. Whoops. That was me. Sorry. And are the dice coming in? 2. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 8. Yep. Yeah. And a f Ooh, hello. That one's not worked. Let's try that again. 7. Ah, oh, that's it, seven. Um, so there we are. Uh, in their shells, there they are. Uh, and they're hovering around 80%. Uh, I mean, that will drop down over an hour or so. Uh, is it a bit of a pain to take them out and charge them again? Yeah, uh, um, it just is. Um, there is no way to charge these now. You can't put them in the charger uh, and do much with them. Uh, you have to take the actual dice out of the shells to charge them again if you're using them under D&D. &D. But if you're using D6s, then it's a bit easier. Okay, so 
that's what we've got so far. Um, I've got everything working. Now, in terms of being able to see that in a nicer way than just as a line of dice, there is an application on here called Go RPG, uh, which uh, I opened up. Um, I'll just turn that around, how to play. I don't think it's too particularly difficult. Let's just play. Configure, yep. So I've got the dice. I'm just going to roll some dice and hopefully you'll be able to see what happens. So there we go. So it rolls. It tells me I've got a 70. Uh, I've got a 3. Um, I've got a 10 and so on and so forth. So it's, it's quite nice um, showing me this and I can add modifiers to this or take modifiers away. Is it the be all and end all of dice rolling for your D&D um, &D campaign or your RPG campaign? No, not really, I guess, um, but uh, it's it's viable. Uh, and I quite like this as you're actually shaking the dice, it shows it uh, on there and you can roll them and there they go. It's nice. What I really need, of course, is a tool that takes those numbers and throws it into Foundry or throws it into uh, Roll20 or whatever, um, or, or actually something else, I suppose. But that's what I would really need. And I can work with that and do what I need to. But like I said, not having the D6 causes a problem. It also doesn't know that I just put these back into the... Uh, into here so you've got to look out for that a little bit it does have a few things like you can uh, see uh, the dice history which is quite nice that's all right uh, and under the dice settings actually all of these settings are roughly the same as what you had in the previous application so if I just go to it you can see your um, you can now see your battery levels and notice again they drop down really quickly panic stations but they seem to have leveled out uh, at the moment um, I still don't know what that does. <laughs> uh, and uh, I can have sounds or there is some, I wouldn't play them. I'll play the music. You can't really hear it. It's horrible. Um, but that's what you can do there. Now, I haven't tried the other games uh, on here. Something that I haven't worked out yet, maybe it's me. I don't seem to be able to get back from the games, or at least from this game, uh, to the main application. I, I can't, I just haven't worked it out. Maybe there's an easy way of doing it and I'm just being stupid, um, but I haven't worked it out. Uh, so to get back to this, I had to dump out of the actual application itself, go back into the app there, and I'm back in. Now, there are other apps uh, in there as well, uh, well, other things in there as well. I haven't tried any of this. So there we go. Uh, could be good, could be bad, not sure, Sid, Nancy, oh, it's adding dice where it looks of it, Nancy, there we go, dice are flashing at the moment, so they're doing something, you can see the flashing by the way inside the shells, um, so that works, uh, and that's done, and let's save that, now, Yahtzee of course is a game of D6s, um, so what I will need to do is take the dice out of these shells to play this game. So I'm just going to do that. So just taking them out is relatively easily. So you take them out and just pull the die out. It can be a little bit slippy, um, but there we go. Always remember to put the shells back um, together before you move on to the next one because, because three of the shells uh, are the same structure, uh, you could end up with mismatched shell casings and then it well it's just a faff just a pain uh, so just be aware of that let's just do a couple here but anyway you get the idea i'm sure i won't spend too much time uh, going through those and you can get the die out uh, to do what you need to do and just as a reminder you could probably top up the die so that was about 80 percent if i keep my finger on it how long does it take seven or eight seconds there we are and that's back up to full power so that's it that's go dice um it's exciting i've got to use it of course uh, and i need to see uh, i would like to see a way of easily being able to transfer these numbers over to just a uh, a receiver on on a pc or a mac or whatever so i could just see the numbers easily there is an api that you can use but i hope you enjoyed it um and um yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, everybody.